Happiness is a weird thing to value. Let me explain why. And this is going to lead into a bigger point. Now, I'm not used to not operating without a script, but let's do it again. I saw a Facebook post that said it, it had a three panel picture. First, there's a man with a blue collared shirt saying that he wants happiness. He says, quote, I want happiness. The monk takes away the I, the ego. Then he takes away the want, the projection. And what's left is happiness. And you see the blue collared man grinning. When I look at that, I realize that happiness and contentment while this is basically trying to be a an attractive post, like this is an attractive idea, it leads into what I've been saying in the past, that lowering your standards so that you can feel good isn't worth it. I guarantee you that you probably wouldn't have existed in the first place if your ancestors dropped all their desires and lower their standards and say, let's just be happy. They probably wouldn't push for a family, they probably wouldn't push for kids, they probably wouldn't push to raise those kids to a certain standard. Maybe your descendants, your near descendants, didn't raise you properly or at all. But still, a lot of things we have now are predicated on unhappiness. Dissatisfaction rules everything around us. It's necessary fuel and oh it's great. Notice how those pseudo Eastern thought assholes love boring three chord one four five music or one six four five one three four five relative majors and minors everywhere, but not a lot of not a lot of things of value. I consider that strange but expected. After all, these are people that want to feel good, want to be happy, but they don't have a struggle because struggle leads to pain, to suffering. So they don't strive for much in their music. They don't strive for anything that really shows depth and complexity and struggle. A lot of music I like is revolves around that heavily. Technicality, layers, depth, struggle, emotion. Strong emotions. Emotions of someone that wants something. To want is a gift. Desire is a gift. You have to learn it. And when you learn it, it may not be something that's easy to have and take care of, but trust me, it's a gift. And it keeps on giving. Forevermore. Hopefully. It's Mr. Marcus 7 and suck my dick.